I mean, it's basically shorthand, which is, I think, totally overused and misunderstood and stupid. I mean, STEM, what? It doesn't have anything to do with anything. It doesn't even make, it's not, there's no sort of resonance, there's no poetry. So I, if I were the king of the world, I would just get rid of that. And do you have the a problem more poetic is, acronym you would substitute? He, rigor. <laughs> How about rigor? I mean, I think the problem fundamentally is that this, this country has a serious problem in math and science. And it runs through every demographic, every socioeconomic level. It runs through every, every state in the country with a possible exception. And we can talk more about this with, of Massachusetts and Minnesota. But it is a serious lack of rigor that starts very early on in schooling. And it's not just science and it's not, you know, it, it's, it's, it's better in reading but it's a fundamental problem. So I think there's a, um, a tendency to kind of stovepipe these things that, that's not particularly creative or helpful. I spent a year visiting the top performing countries in the world on education outcomes and spending a lot of time with kids in those countries to try to get the sort of texture of life in these countries. Because we know a lot, we actually have a lot of good, relatively good data now on education outcomes around the world that we didn't have 10 years ago. Uh, and it's very striking and it's not, it doesn't correlate strongly with expenditure and all those things you already probably know. But anyway, um, one of the things that you just notice immediately is how low tech the classrooms are in the top performing countries in the world. I mean, I have been in some terrible schools in the United States and they all have smart boards, which are basically um, digital electronic whiteboards sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's a, there's a number of reasons for that and we don't need to go too far down that rat hole. But one reason would be um, just, you know, the relatively aggressive uh, vendors that go into our school system. And also it is something that is easy to see and it's sort of like the reason, you know, um, Homeland Security tends to focus on gear. Homeland Security spending is like about hazmat suits and things that aren't really like less so training to use the hazmat suits. So these are things that are easy to quantify. We spend a ton of money on it. There isn't good money comparing how much we spend internationally per student on technology um, compared to other countries, which is frustrating. But anecdotally, everyone who has visited many of these countries um, tends to see this, this trend line, particularly if you don't visit the schools that the Korean Minister of Education takes you to, right? So if you visit the schools sort of on your own, um, you see very, very low tech classrooms. And that's not to say I don't think there's an important role for technology, but I agree that it's not generally the role that it's taken in the US. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that there is really a crisis in math and science, particularly the ability to think critically and solve problems in real life. Okay, so do I think we need to beat China? I think we do beat China. We beat the crap out of China on education. This whole, you know, like this is, there's a lot of misleading information, a lot of confusion about this. Yes, Shanghai outperformed the rest of the world. That is not all of China. I mean, you know, so do I think the horse race is a little silly? Yes, uh, but I think it's true that when American 15 year olds are performing, you know, 24th in the world, 24th in the world on thinking critically in math, so solving real problems, right? And, and by the way, the US does much better in reading on this same test. So I do think it's, in that sense, we are, and you see this, right? I mean, how many people have little small children or, or had small children in the US education system at some point? And what I think you, you probably noticed very early on that reading is pushed with a sort of evangelical fervor. Um, and then increasingly so, per because of No Child Left Behind and so forth. Um, but math is like this thing that we are gonna get to later. Um, and then and that changes eventually, but even in the third grade, U US third graders are doing much easier math work than, than schools in the top performing countries in the world.